Samina, can you please tell us something about yourself, maybe a trait um, or a skill set that you have um, that most people do not know about? Um, well, one of my hobbies is definitely drawings. And mainly I use marker pens. I'm not that good with like color, color pencils or charcoal or watercolor, but I like to draw things mainly in black and white and usually they're animals or women figures. Other thing, um, I enjoy doing my own makeup. I'm very fussy when it comes to uh, eye makeup. So, I, because you want your eyes to look a certain way, so you know what you want. And because I do drawings, I do paintings. Makeup is like second hand. To me. And do you think it's a skill that you've inherited Definitely. from your parents, or yeah. is it something you've developed over the years? No. Um, when I was little, I always watched my mom doing her makeup. And the whole family can draw except for my dad. So it's in the genes. It's definitely in the genes. <laughs> the, art, the artist side is in the genes. Okay. Um, could you also share with us something that's very close to your heart, like a cause that you support or you feel very strongly towards the civil issue? Could mm -hmm. you share that with us? Uh, recently, uh, about last week, me and my mom we we visited a hospital somewhere in Johor. Batu Bahai, if I'm not mistaken, and we visited all these kids that suf suffers from leukemia and other types of cancer, and it's just so sad because most of them don't live past the age of four or eight years old, and also, I mean, the saddest part is when the nurse have to break the news to the parents and say, spend as much time as you can with your child because we don't know how long you have left. Okay. <laughs> and then um, it's it's just sad because those kids don't know, but they're so positive and they're so happy. You know, small things like giving them toys or clothes, it just makes their day. Because all they know is to live in the hospital like, since they were born. So do you think enough has been done for these kids or not? Um, some of them do recover, but they have a relapse. Some of them are too young and the body is not that fully developed that they can't fight the cancer. So that's, that's, that's very sad. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of women young like you, they have big aspirations. But each woman has her set of challenges depending where she is in life. What advice would you give to young women who are trying to find a niche, or find themselves in this very, very complicated world? Well, hmm. basically I was born on a silver platter. Everything's come easy for me, but my dad have always put it in my head that never settle. Always, always be ambitious and never give up. Like basically, I tried my own makeup line, it didn't work out. I tried my hair salon, it didn't work out. Wanted to do fashion, but my dad was like, it's a bit unpredictable. You know, fashion goes up and down, depending on the trend. People like international brands more. So he gave me the idea, open a fast food joint, KFC. So I did that, steady income, very well. But my advice would be, be as independent as you can, and never use the word settle down. Because once you use the word settle down, you just settle. You know, always try for more and more. The more the better. Wonderful. Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Hopefully married. Three kids, maybe. Well, no, I'm not in ten. That's a bit too quick. <laughs> but um, I'm still doing my KFC. Hopefully, my own simple fashion line for this part of the world. Just as a hobby, not as like a serious, serious business, but just love your job kind of thing.